Do you like to carve pumpkins? Do you ever do that for Halloween? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So not to scare you away from it, but when I was in high school, I was carving a pumpkin and I couldn't get the lid off the pumpkin. And my older brother at the time should have helped me and he decided not to. Um, and he slid a bread knife across the table at me and told me to use that to open the pumpkin. My parents weren't around, but so disaster already was gonna happen. Um, so you know what a bread knife looks like, right? It's a really long knife and it has like the ridges kind of in it. So I, you know, unknowingly at the time I'm like, okay. And I pick it up and I try to use it to get the lid off, but the pumpkin's already pretty slippery from the pumpkin guts. And as I'm trying to like go up and down and get it in, I am a righty, so it's like my hand slipped under the knife as it went down and it cut into my two fingers. Um, so my bow pinky finger and the ring finger. So uh, what happened was I cut the tendon in my pinky finger. So the tendon is responsible for like moving your fingers. So I didn't know it at the time because it was wrapped up, but I, if I tried, I wouldn't have been able to move my finger until they repaired it in surgery. So they fixed the tendon. Um, there was a muscle that was cut through and some nerves so I couldn't like feel my hand here. Uh, and it took a couple months of physical therapy and recovery, and then I was able to get back into violin. But I try to always look at the positive side of everything, because it was really hard when that happened. I had a really big performance coming up, too. I made a really special audition, and I didn't get to play in it, so it was really sad. But the good thing was, before that happened, I had a locked pinky on my bow. I had always played like that, and I was trying so hard to fix it. It was really difficult, and I was just working at it. But now, because of cutting this tendon, it's... We've gotten it pretty straight, but you can tell my finger doesn't go all the way straight anymore. Um, worked out for me though, because I never had to fix my pinky because it did it itself. So I'm not encouraging you to get surgery done so your pinky's fixed, um, but I was working on that prior, but that is why if I ever go to like demonstrate that for you, I have to show you the other finger because I can't lock it anymore. Um, but these exercises like rocking the bow and um, really just thinking about it all the time during your open string, since you don't have to really think much about anything else, is really helpful. Um, so yes, motto of the story, always try to look for the positives in situations, and don't use a bread knife to carve a pumpkin, but I'm sure your parents wouldn't let you do that anyway. <laughs>